Howdy, howdy folks, Donnie here once again with yet another video in our Basic System D series. So far in this series, we've just been looking at the command line utilities that you would use to manage your System D operations. But this time we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to look at the check service utility, which is not a part of any official Linux distro. Instead, this is a third-party utility which somebody wrote in order to uh, help make the management just a little bit easier. And it's an NCurses-based utility, which means that it's kind of semi-graphical, uh, semi-graphical in the sense that, that you can run this on a text mode server without a desktop interface. But anyway, this is at the Make Tech Easier website, and I will put the link for this video in the video description below. We see here that uh, we have directions on how to download check service and how to install it. For the most part, for most distros, you're going to be compiling it from source code. But on Debian, Fedora, and Ubuntu, you do have the option of just grabbing it from the repositories. In Debian, it looks like it's in the Debian repository already. For Fedora and Ubuntu, you have to install a new repository, but it's no big deal. I personally have only tried it on Fedora. I followed the directions here for Fedora, works fine. My only complaint here is that they're assuming that you're logged in as the root user because there's no sudo here, right? Ah, that drives me nuts. Folks, just use sudo, okay? <laughs> so it's kind of weird, you know, because the Debian and the Ubuntu, they do have sudo, but uh, for everything else, it just looks like they're assuming you're logging in at the root command prompt. Drives me nuts. I hate that. But anyway, other than that, it's very, very clear, very easy to do, so you won't have a problem doing it. And we have here a list of the available commands, and you can see here that you can reload or update your services that are running. You can enable or disable them. You can start or stop them. So it's really easy to use. And you also see the list of codes there up at the top of that. You have uh, the X for a unit that's enabled, uh, S for a static unit, and a uh, M for a masked unit. And this is what it looks like. So pretty easy there. And there is the link. Okay, so here I am logged into my Fedora machine, which is on the other side of the house. I'm logged in remotely. And you can see that it's really, really easy there to invoke our new check service utility. Just do sudo check service. Just like that. And so there's what you got. So basically, enabling or disabling services is just a matter of coming in and hitting the space bar. So it's real easy. And we can page on down, and we can see what all we got there. And you can see what is enabled, what's disabled, what's set up as a static service, which ones are masked. So it's really, really cool. And then we also can come down here and we can see our timers and our sockets and our different targets. And we have our slices, our systemd slices and our swaps. So yeah, uh, mounts and paths. So yeah, it's really, really cool. Really cool program. So yeah, I'd encourage you if you want to make your life a little bit easier with your system D usage, definitely give this a try. And also be sure to visit the Make Tech Easier website in the link, you know, because, you know, I don't do these things to try to steal their audience or anything like that. I'm a firm believer in promoting people's websites. You know, if they have a good article, I like to promote them and uh, just send some traffic their way so they can get their ad revenue and all that good stuff, you know. So, yeah. Uh, Definitely give it a try. And now with all that said, it's time for a word 
from my sponsor, which is me and my book, Mastering Linux Security and Hardening. Folks, if you're serious about advancing your career, maybe getting a pay raise, you want to learn something about Linux security. Definitely. And this book can definitely help you do it. It's a bestseller. It's got nothing but five-star reviews. So, hey, people like it. And it's fun to read. You know, I make sure that my books are fun to read. I don't do boring books, and you shouldn't either. So definitely check it out. The purchase links are in the video description below. Anyway, I thank you for watching. And if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.